In this video I'm going to show you how I saved six grand by not sandblasting the bottom of my boat and instead using a sander and a scraping tool. I designed a new anti-foul colour for Asco Noble, although they don't know about it, and I sand my entire boat again to get a matte finish on the top sides. Also, if you haven't booked cabins for the Odyssey Sailing Festival yet in the BVI's in December, there are a few left where you can have the opportunity to spend a week cruising with sailors like Laura Decker, Alex and Brady from Delos and the Cruisers Academy, Colin and Captain Glenn from Below Deck, as well as a bunch of other fantastic sailors. Visit www.theoceancruisers.com backslash odyssey for tickets, but for now, enjoy me working in Greece on my boat to save money so my wife doesn't lose a shit when she sees the bank account statement. Yo, so a new day. I'm covered in black dust today instead of blue dust. That makes a nice change. So I power washed the hulls, the hulls, the hull, <laughs> both sides, um, a couple of days ago to basically like blast away all the loose stuff. Um, and what I'm going to do, ideally, I wanted it sandblasting, but it's like I said, the price is just insane here. So sandblasted, um, sorry, power washed. I've got quite a bit of stuff off, but what I need to now do is basically do that. I've got to sand everywhere and kind of make it try and uniform so I can get a nice smooth surface. Some of it is like pretty decent. It's stuck on quite hard. And then the rest of the place looks like some type of bizarre otherworldly planetary map with oceans and black land. Um, so, I'm going round with this. This is an amazing tool. I've not seen one of these before. So you can scrape forwards and you can scrape backwards and it takes it off. So I'm going round all these patches and like that will come off. So I can just like get a nice sandy patch. Um, I'm then gonna prime any areas where I've got any white coming through. I've got like some reverse osmosis uh, paint, which is a two part that I need to put apparently three layers on. I'm gonna try <laughs> um i'm going to remove these one by one and i'm going to get a um it's like a big massive jack stand they've got quite a few of them lying around here so i've done the other side already made this kind of uniform so this is how this one looks so rather than little tiny dots everywhere i've now got some pretty open patches which are going to be a lot easier to sand so i now need to go around all of the areas here sand it all down so it becomes quite smooth this is going to be a pretty big job, but I think this is probably like, I don't know, getting all that sanded down a few days work. Yeah, this is what I'm doing now. This I've done that side, about to do this side, and then I'm going to go around with the sander. I've got some 40 grit, which should hopefully eat away at this anti fell pretty quick. And yeah, wish me luck. Yo, so I've got all the bottom ready. I've got two layers of primer on all the spots that needed primer. I've got a spotty looking boat again. It's looking pretty nice. So we're going for <clears throat> grey for the primer. Gonna, uh, sorry, grey for the um, anti-foul. So we've got grey down here. We're going to have a grey boot stripe. Then we're going to have a grey cove line. And then the writing on the back is going to be grey as well. Basically, I've got international. You can probably see this one here. It's called Dover White. So I've got two big Dover whites, five litre, two and a half litre. I've got a little can of black and I'm just going to mix up a nice grey. It's all the same stuff, so should work. Fingers crossed. Right, so I've mixed up the anti-foul and this is what I'm coming up with. That's it without any black added. Not very good. That's it with a bit of black added. That's it with more black added. And I think I'm going to go with that because I want it to be like a platinum, like a very light grey. And I don't want it to look like primer, but I think that is probably about right. I might add a little bit more dark, actually. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more dark. So I'm mixing in my big bucket. <laughs> so yeah, I'll add some more black to it.
Right, so now I'm up to getting on the scaffold. Now I'm up to matting the boat. So this is the finish, a bit dirty, got loads of rain on it and crap. And that is what we're going for over there. So I'll show you how I'm doing this. I've got pads with 400 on and then I've got pads with 800 on. So the 400, I'm going over this to get it flat. Now, it looks like a pretty decent finish there. Nice mirror effect. Once you get a 400 grit on it and you start to take down the first couple of, um, no, maybe like the, I don't know, like the, the, the last layer, it's super blotchy. Um, like you can kind of see if you look up close, loads of little dimples so the only way to get like a really flat finish on this is to um sand it back now what i could do in the future if i wanted to is just get a polisher on this and then i would have a perfect mirror finish but i want to try going for a matte finish i really like the look i prefer it and every other boat you see like this has got like a a nice shiny blue hull and a red bottom and I just wanted to do something different so I really like it so far it's turning out okay one complication that I'm having is you take the 800 for example here and the finish that you get when you start with the 800 is very different to the finish you get when you finish with the 800 so trying to get a balance all the way across is pretty impossible so it's never going to be perfect and I'm not going for something perfect so I'm not bothered about that um, but it is looking really nice and cool so I'll show you what I'm doing you can watch <laughs> So you can see when you put the sander on it how blotchy it actually is so this is the joint which again you can't really see but then you can see all the orange peel there try and get the focus in there you go so even just spraying it you get this the only way to get like a real perfect perfectly flat finish is to knock it back so I'm gonna go all the way across to the 400 then I go over with the 800 twice to get a really nice finish. Cool, so that's the 400 done. That's it there, ignore the swirl marks there from the towel. So you can see the difference there between 800, 400. You can just see it's got that shine that the 400 doesn't have so I'm going to go over it with this one twice and then that should get me my nice finish cool so that is sanding on the hull done there she is <laughs> looking good so there's still a bit to do what I need to do yet is put the boot stripe on and then I also need to put the stripe inside the cove. Um, I need to take off the tape from around the windows and then I need to seek her around that. And then basically all the rest I've got to do for the ex exterior of the boat is just another coat of anti-fowl. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's dusty, so don't pay attention to it. It doesn't look perfect. I need to properly wash it. There's a couple of touch-up spots that I've got to make. You can see just above there. There's a touch-up spot there. I think there was a drip or something that went through, so. And then just around the coving, there's a few touch-up spots required around there as well, but I'm loving the matte finish. It's not perfectly matte, there's a bit of a shine to it. So, I'm gonna put the Sun Odyssey sticker on which goes in between these two covings up here. We've got a little bit of water and a towel. Wash it down.
Right, so I'm currently putting on the boot stripe with the um, masking tape. This is the only part, well it's not the only part I'm nervous about, I've been nervous about lots of things on this boat, um, but it's the only bit I'm unsure of. And I might bugger this up because I've never done it before and trying to get the masking tape perfect is pretty difficult. The, um, the anti-foul line is not straight, so I haven't really got anything to work off. Um, and I haven't got anyone to help me out on this. Chris was going to do this, but then he went back and then it's going to be coming again. And I kind of need to do it because I need the paint to like cure really solid before it goes into the uh, straps for the lift. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So you can see here, it looks all right really there. So I've got a 35 mil tape, which I've put as good across the anti-foul line as I can. Um, I've then got a 50 mil tape, which I've put above that. And then I've got the 35 mil tape that I'm then putting above that to give me like a 50, a 50 mil bootstrap line. Um, so we'll see. I think I might bugger this up and it might look stupid. It's not gonna look terrible, but it's not gonna look good. However, I can fix it by next time I come out with the water, um, getting a new anti-foul line raised by a couple of mil, and then just um, widening the bootstripe by, bootstripe by a couple of mil as well. So I'm not too fussed. And to be honest, I care about the structure of the boat and um, how it works more than the cosmetics, because the cosmetics can be fixed. I'm not worried about that. So this is what I'm doing. And yeah, hopefully it isn't a catastrophe. Let's see if it is. <laughs> of course, I've just got the masking tape on the coving, which is up there. That's easier because uh, I've got I've got lines to follow. I don't have to try and make new lines, so I think that'll be a success. I'm actually really looking forward to do that. Now I'm just need to do it the other side. I think I'm going to paint this side tonight because this side of the hull is cool. The sun is on the other side now, and I don't want to paint in the baking sun um, because it doesn't set very well. It bubbles really easy. So I'm just going to do the upside of here now. I'm hoping I can do it in one coat, but I think it's going to take two coats because although it's like a two-part polyurethane, it's um, it's silver, so it's really light, and this is really dark, so I don't think it's going to sit on a dark paint that well, but let's get the masking tape on, and we'll see. So this is how it turned out, and I love it. I didn't film painting the grey lines on boat as it was boring and I was hungry, and I still need to do a ceramic coating on the top sides, which I'll do next year. But this is 30 grand saved. So all around, happy sailor. See you soon.